weather forecasting capabilities are continually improving. The Met Office's short range four day forecast is now as accurate as our one day forecast was 30 years ago. From five days ahead, these become medium range forecasts. And from here, due to the chaotic nature of the atmosphere, it becomes more difficult to maintain a similar level of local accuracy to that seen in our short term forecasts. What we are able to do, though, is accurately forecast trends around precipitation or temperature for these periods. As we move beyond 10 days, we stretch into the longer range or sub-seasonal outlooks. And at this point, as you'd expect, the uncertainty increases further. But this is where our innovative science and tools come in. The Decider tool developed by the Met Office is a probabilistic forecasting tool that's underpinned by ensemble forecasting systems. It gives an indication of large scale atmospheric circulation changes within the medium to long range forecast period that could lead to a change in weather and any associated impacts that are typical of that weather type. Decider is being used by the Met Office to help support a number of industries such as water and energy in translating weather forecasts into sector specific impacts to help improve decision making when it matters. I'm here with Isabel Rushby, a scientist in the industry science and consultancy team to tell us more. The industry science and consultancy team has been generating impact based forecasts for a number of years. We do this by understanding the link between weather and its impact on the customer using statistical modelling. Once we've calculated this relationship using a calibrated and validated model, we can then use weather forecasts to predict the customer impact, giving them the information needed to make early decisions. Our most established work in this space is with our water demand model, which uses short range weather forecast information to forecast customer water demand for a few days ahead. However, working in partnership with Thames Water and a number of other UK water companies on an off for innovation funded project, we are combining the impact based approach with the decider tool to extend this forecasting capability to the medium to long range, for not only water demand, but also the forecasting of wastewater treatment work alarms. This follows the same structure as our existing modelling cave 30, but it calculates the likelihood of seeing impacts for a given weather pattern, whether that's notably high water demand or a high number of wastewater alarms. This information is combined with the forecast likelihood of each weather pattern to generate an extended range impact forecast. We're now at an exciting stage of the project where we're ready to launch a trial forecast service for the project partners, which will provide them with twice weekly sub-seasonal forecasts of the probability of high water demand and or high wastewater alarms. This sounds like it could be a really valuable tool for water companies. How would it be used in practice? Imagine we're in the weeks leading up to the cold weather we saw in December 2022, for example. What would this tool look like? How might it be used by those companies receiving the forecast to prepare for the impactful weather that we experienced? We can show you what the forecast would have looked like at that time. Firstly, this figure shows the likelihood of exceeding key water demand thresholds compared to normal. Let's concentrate on the red line, which is the 90th percentile. On average, there's a 10% chance that water demand will be greater than the 90th percentile, which is a threshold that can be associated with considerable impact and means that water companies may need to take action, such as adjusting production levels at water treatment plants. Therefore, any indication that this threshold is more likely than usual to be exceeded is of considerable value to those responsible for water supply decision making. As you can see here, by mid-November 2022, there is some indication of greater likelihood than usual of water demand exceeding the 90th percentile. In winter, high water demand events are associated with cold conditions that increase the chance of supply pipe bursts. As we near the events, it is two times more likely than usual that demand will be greater than the 90th percentile. And one week prior to what turned out to be the peak of the event, the water demand forecast indicates that it is three times more likely than usual that demand will exceed this critical threshold. Thames Water have already been using a prototype of this service. The service is used in two ways. Firstly, in supporting the weekly preparation of a production plan for the next six weeks, with the plan clearly communicating the level of output required from each treatment plant. Secondly, it aids the risk assessment of planned maintenance activities, which enables the early warning of possible postponement of work due to high demand levels, which could avoid late cancellation costs. The service is also used to identify windows of low demand risk, enabling maintenance activities to be carried out during periods that are deemed lower risk. For Thames Water, the subseasonal forecast isn't seen as a standalone product, more as an early warning system which supports escalation where necessary. 
the value of the service is twofold. Firstly, in being able to mitigate against customer supply issues by being able to react to potential changes in demand levels in a timely manner. Secondly, it helps avoid expensive cancellation costs due to late cancellation of planned work. That's really interesting and it's great to hear that our services are having such an impact to those that use them. So finally, what are the next steps? The trial forecast services are now live and will be providing training resources in the use of limitations of the service, stressing its value as an early warning system to aid preparations for impactful weather events. We'll be working closely with Thames Water and other partners on the Offport Innovation Project to make continual improvements, both to the underpinning science, but also the presentation and communication of the forecast service. Well, I look forward to seeing how this tool is used in the trial. Thank you very much for your time, Isabel.